one thing I can't live without in my kitchen and that is my pressure cooker. I love using it, particularly because I'm so busy. This pressure cooker, the Calypso, has two settings. So you can slow cook or pressure cook. So I'm gonna show you my family's recipe for chicken and potatoes in the pressure cooker with a bit of a French twist with apple cider and of course, a good glug of cream. Now I'm going to heat my pressure cooker to a high heat because we want to seal off the meat. So we'll turn that on and a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil in the base of the pot. Now for the chicken. I've cut my chicken up into eight pieces. This chicken is on the bone because it's going to stay really succulent throughout the cooking process. I need to season this with a generous amount of sea salt. So I'll sprinkle that over along with a good crack of pepper and I want the pepper to be quite coarse because I want to taste it. So three or four twists. And with your hands, just get in there, make sure that salt and pepper is on all sides. And now I'll seal this on all sides, starting with the skin side down first. Don't overcrowd the pan. So just add half of the chicken, four pieces. Once that's golden on all sides, we'll take it out and we'll do the second batch. Now for the onion component to this, I'm using echelots or French shallots. These have a real subtle, mild flavour. And I'm just going to chop these. You need four echelots, but if you can't get your hands on echelots, of course, you can just use a good old plastic onion. Still works very well in this because the pressure cooker is going to slowly cook everything and transform them. They'll become really lovely and sweet. Okay, the chicken is sealed nicely, so I'll just take it out of the pan really briefly while we just soften up our French shallots. So we'll grab that in our hands and then add that to the pressure cooker. Now there's enough oil in there, so we don't need to add any more. And because it's quite hot, these will take moments. Okay, I don't want to cook them any more than that. We can return the chicken now, so we've got a bed of echelots and a lovely pieces of chicken. We'll try to put them in one layer. Any of those juices can go in. Now for a hint of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. This is the theme of this type of stew, chicken and apples. So this can go in first and you only want a tablespoon along with some apple cider. I love apple cider. So that can go in too. Now we need to close up the pressure cooker. So the lid goes on and then close it and we'll turn the dial to pressure cooking. Now, as soon as this comes up to pressure, it'll start to steam and start to whistle. That's a good indication to turn it down to a low heat and allow it to finish cooking. Now, the results, it'll look like it's been slowly cooked, but in fact, it's going to cook in roughly 30 minutes. Okay, the chicken is cooked. It's been cooking for 30 minutes and I've just released the steam. This reduces the pressure so it's safe to open. So once all of that steam subsides and the whistle goes away, we can open this. Now I'm going to add my potatoes to this. Now I'm using baby spuds because they take no time at all to cook. These potatoes are going to steam in this pressure cooker pot. And because the chicken has been in there, well, we're going to get that beautiful aroma from the apple cider and the shallots and of course the chicken. So I'll add them. I've also chopped up one apple into wedges. So let's open the lid. Oh, look at that gorgeous tender chicken. They're cooked, so we're going to take them out of the pot and you can see we didn't add any stock at all to this and there's still plenty of liquid down the bottom. That's simply the apple cider, the chicken juices and the vinegar. Now we'll add our little apples and I'll turn the heat back on and this is where I add a generous amount of cream, roughly 200 millilitres, perfect, and we'll give that just a swirl. 
Now the sauce is quite thin now, but don't worry, it will thicken up. I'll insert a separator, which is going to elevate those potatoes from the bottom of the pot. And that means they're going to steam perfectly. So the lid can go back on. I'm not putting it back onto pressure cooker. We'll just close the lid and not put it back onto pressure cooker, but slow cooker. And then this is going to cook our potatoes just to perfection. Then we can finish off this dish. It is divine. Now the potatoes have been cooking for 10 minutes, so let's check that they are cooked. <sighs> smells good. Just using the tip of your knife, just insert it to the centre of the potato. And if the knife comes out easily, you know they are cooked. That sauce is going to be nice and thick now, so just using a tea towel, carefully take out the basket. And I'll place that into a plate. And now I'll remove the separator. And look at those apples. The sauce is thick. Now we want to warm up that chicken again, so we'll just take it from the plate and coat each individual piece of chicken. And the last touch is some tarragon, tarragon apples. This is very regional French and there's a reason why it's so popular because it just tastes so good and it just works so nicely together. Fold it in gently without breaking up any of those apples. And now we are ready to serve. I'll grab a few potatoes and place them into our plate. And I'll serve two of my favourite cuts chicken leg and the chicken thigh. So tender, so juicy. Apples on top and then all those beautiful juices. We'll scoop a generous amount over the top. This dish is comfort food for me. It's a dish that we would have on a cold winter's night. It feels like you've been cooking it for hours, but in the pressure cooker, it's taken 45 minutes. You've got the potatoes, you've got gorgeous sweet apples, and that melt-in-your-mouth chicken. This is a winner. Love it.